everyone, it's me, YD28. Welcome back to my channel, The Sims 2 Let's Play Veronaville, round 10. And we're back with the Monty clan household. And Mercutio is here for now, uh, but he will be moving out shortly. Um, he's just here for the last episode because, you know, this goods. Uh, but Antonio and the kids are all now just moving in. Uh, to their new home as Antonio is the head of the Monty clan. So it's going to be pretty interesting uh, how things uh, go here on out. It's uh, 6 in the morning on a Sunday. I went ahead and I just updated all the bedrooms. Uh, so this is going to be Beatrice's room and um, her kitty Kobe gets to sleep in here with her. Uh, and this is going to be Benedict's room. He has the computer. Uh, so that he can, you know, do his work and stuff. He does want to study hard. Uh, and Antonio, of course, will get this mean room. And poor Mercutio is going to be up here in uh, this little shack for now. Um, not that this is, like... Antonio knows Mercutio um, is having a thing with Miranda Cap, And so Antonio, in his kind of demented mind is uh, giving Mercutio kind of a Cinderella complex. Not that uh, he's going to have to cook and clean, but that he lives in the shacky, shitty, uh, shitty attic. I didn't mean to swear, I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Mercutio does actually want to get engaged to Miranda, which is so insane. But he kind of feels the same way for Pamela that he does for Miranda. So it's kind of really intense. Um... He, um, yeah, but he, uh, I should let you guys know that after we had our date with Mercutio as we were playing Miranda, uh, as soon as we got home, he called us again to go on a second date immediately after. So that was intriguing to me because I was like, whoa, we like literally just got off a date with you and you want to go out with us again. So I said yes, because I figured why not? It not too much more happened. They just fell in love pretty much even more. They were already at this max level. And they had a dream date at that point. Um, so, really insane. Pretty crazy. Um, I don't know what's going to happen. Especially now that Antonio's in this house. He, uh, I don't know what he's going to do with Mercutio. Uh, so, Antonio does want to see Patrizio's ghost. I don't know if he's actually going to... <laughs> If we, uh, if we just, like, chill outside. Oh, I think he's going, actually going back into his grave. So, uh, I'm gonna have Antonio actually come over here and mourn Isabella. And then he can also mourn, uh, his dad and mourn his brother and, of course, mourn his, uh, sister-in-law. Uh, he hasn't seen these graves or cried over them in quite some time. So he's just like all the pain and he's just thinking about the caps. Uh, but he does have to run uh, to <laughs> uh, work. Uh, Mercutio does not have work today. Oh yes, he does have work today. What? He has to actually leave right now. So he's not going to have a chance to uh, hang out with the teens. But because both Antonio and Mercutio have work today, um, we can invite Hal over. Uh, which is going to be very nice to see him because Beatrice hasn't seen him um, for quite some time. Um, so Mercurio saying bye. Benedict saying bye. Benedict is going to go ahead and work on his logic skill because I do believe that's something you need. You need logic and I think mechanical for being a doctor. So he's going to go work on that. Uh, Beatrice is sniffing the cactus plants. Okay there, buddy. <laughs> Uh, so she's going to come use a Z toilet. We're going to praise Kobe um, in a little bit. Kobe's doing okay. Kobe's fine. Kobe's more than fine. She wants Kobe to get a job. He doesn't need a job. We have so many simoleons. It's like crazy. It is crazy. Oh, he's so cute. Uh, yeah. We're going to uh, go ahead and give him a hug. He's chasing a bug right now. Chase that bug. 
And I'm just going to run around like a crazy person. Reminds me of my cat. My cat does that. I don't know why we're not using that door, but whatever. Um, Antonio is now off to work himself. So, and this means we can go ahead and have like a hardcore party. Where's the cat? He's chasing bugs and stuff. Oh my god. Let me hug you. Aw, we can't command him to do so much. He's such a smart cat. He's such a smart cat. Okay. So, uh, let us come call up Hal. And get him to come over. And see us for a little bit. That would be really nice. Uh, invite over Hal. Uh, Lee can invite over his whole household. Because Beatrice does want to get to know the cats. Um, and she does want to make sure that they're doing... Um, okay, because, um, mm, yeah, that's it. Ariel, Desdemona, and Genevieve, um, because of their father and that he's been missing still and they don't know where he is and he's presumed dead, um, so she wants to, you know, reach out and befriend them all, pretty much, basically. Uh, and they're all wearing their private school uniforms, like, oh. Uh, <laughs> they look like, um, did you guys read a series of misfortunate events? Because that's what they remind me of, except there's four of them, not three. Is, do they have three? I don't remember. It's the brother, sister... And the baby. Is that that? What was that? How you cray cray. Uh, let's give him a romantic hug. And, um... Oh! And they're already coming over to chat. I want to see if he likes... I don't think he does like any of them. He's kind of friends with, uh... Ariel. But not really at the same time. And Genevieve's here, so he can chat with her. Beatrice is going to, um... Because her and Hal are, like, already, uh, really high in their relationships. Uh, she's gonna fo go ahead and focus on befriending Desdemona and Ariel. And, um, trying to, uh, connect with Genevieve on some level, so. We're gonna work on that. Uh, we're gonna talk about music and dance. We're gonna appreciate her. All that fun stuff. Uh, and Benedict would probably want to get to know Hal some more. I'm gonna see if he likes her at all. Hey. Oh, he does a little bit. Oh. Okay, let's joke with her. Oh, where are you going? Huh. I want to see how many lightning bolts we have. Where's the cat? What is he doing? Oh, he's playing with his, uh, he's playing with his toy. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I was like, you doing so- Oh, she doesn't like us. Oh. She doesn't like us at all. Okay. Oh my god, how many lightning bolts? He's not showing. That's like none. None. None lightning bolts. Uh, lunchtime playing a video game. Show boss. Games, game enthusiasm. Uh, we're gonna do Sporks of Steel. Oh, wow. Antonio's fired. Oh, God, Antonio's fired? <gasps> oh, my God, y'all gotta leave. Y'all gotta leave right now. Oh, my God, you gotta leave right now. He's gonna see you. Oh, my God, he's gonna see them. He sees... Oh, my God. Oh, my God, he sees them. Oh, my God, he sees them. He's going to come over here and uh, pass along. Oh, connection sword. Uh, he's going to come over here 
and I want him to yell at her. Uh, he can't be mean to her. Okay, well, we're just gonna, uh, he's gonna chat with her, but really he's yelling at her. Is he gonna, oh, he can't argue with his children, which is odd. But she can, can she argue with him? I don't, I don't know. I don't know, maybe I can influence him to fight with Beatrice? Yes, that's what I want him to do. That's what I want to happen right now. Where is he going? What? Oh, he went to work again. Oh. Oh, okay. Huh? He's a dishwasher. I'm really confused. He didn't get fired. He got demoted? I'm really confused. I'm really confused right now. I He just got fired, didn't he? Well, he's at work again, so... <laughs> Um, <laughs> I'm lost, but I wanted him to argue with Beatrice because he saw the Caps. He saw the Cap family. I don't know. I, I don't know. But um, Benedict kind of really likes uh, Ariel, and by really likes, I mean kind of likes. He doesn't seem to like anyone. Uh, he inherited money. From his grandma. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. He doesn't seem to like anyone, really. Uh, and Beatrice wants to get a creativity skill point as well. And I don't think we actually have an easel or anything to get creativity, which is kind of weird because uh, we're a culinary family that needs creative uh, outlets. Uh, I'd put a giant piano somewhere, but there's no space. No space for a piano. Because this ranch is just, like, the most awkward, uh, the most awkward setup ever. And I dislike it so much. She's going to go paint. Uh, not play Logic. But Mercutio, he's feeling, uh, he's feeling decent, you know? He's feeling decent. He's just thinking about Miranda, kind of weighing his pros and cons with her and Pamela. You guys have been saying that Mercutio should definitely tame, um, Miss Miranda get her to see the light sort of thing um oh we can get this put this in our inventory we can also get uh da, 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 the change my aspiration thing um which might be uh, useful in the future. Uh, Beatrice is going to have, she's family, she's gonna get needs. And Antonio, he's fine. And Benedict, he's going to get work. So yes, we're doing all this. Um, yeah, I don't know, maybe we'll invite over Miranda as well, just to see her. Um, and then we can invite over Romeo and Juliet as well while, um, Antonio's at work. So let's go ahead and do that. Miranda does have a phone. Oh my god. Okay, we'll invite over Romeo instead. Oh, I guess because she's, like, not officially moved in. Okay. Uh, so they should be on their way. And we are going to see them all. I'm really excited. We're excited to see Romeo. We haven't seen Romeo in a little bit in time. In time. But Mercutio also needs to chat with his cousins and um, get friendly with them. Oh, but here she is. Here she comes. So we'll go ahead. 
Oh my god. See, I knew this. One of you said, put Miranda in Juliet and Romeo's house and see the drama as the two of them are romance aspirations and will most likely fall in love with one another. And already, Romeo's like, oh my god, Miranda's a hottie, like, hottie face. Did we? Okay. We're gonna chat with Romeo, give him a hug. <laughs> Um, Merle chat with Juliet and also give her a hug. Uh, and then we're going to uh, caress Miranda and tenderly kiss her. Just say hi to everyone. Uh, Beatrice will come over and chat with Romeo as well. And Benedict will say hi to Romeo too because we like, we like them all. We like them Actually, we barely... Benedict has no relationship with his cousins. Holy bananas. Okay, you two need to come and chat with them. Hardcore. And Juliet's telling Mercutio about the pain that their family's going through. And he's like, I don't know how to be there for Miranda. I understand. We're going to ignore this. Uh, I understand it's really tough on her, it's her father, and I want to be of help to her. Okay, cool. Okay. Uh, he's going to talk about his games hobby and joke with him. I don't know. I don't know. I was like, where's Juliet going? Okay. Oh, Beatrice, you're playing with the cat. You're supposed to be talking with your cousins. I don't know where Mercuti... Oh, they're over here. Oh, my God. He's like, I want to propose to you. I want to propose to you so bad. But I can't right now. I can't. We can't be together. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Uh, Mercutio is going to come chat with Beatrice because, you know. Actually, no. He's trying to console her. He's going to admire her. He's going to give her a back rub. He's going to uh, hug her tenderly and hold her hands and just be like, be there for her, you know? Um, we'll share interests. We'll... Um, uh, ask her what she wants so that we can maybe see something. Maybe it's something similar to what we want. I don't know. Okay, that's enough of that. Want to reach Charisma level 1? Good for you there. Okay, so that was enough. Uh, oh, Beatrice is taking a bath now. Oh, but these three are playing kicky, kicky bag, which is cool. That's nice. I mean, we're slowly getting to know everyone. Uh, but we should probably go ahead and say... Uh, I'm worried. What time does he come back? Oh, 10. Okay, we got time. We get time. So, uh, yeah, we're going to keep chatting with Romeo. But we're actually pretty hungry, too, so we'll get some food after. It's snowing. I'm turning in for the evening. I'll be back tomorrow. Okay, that's fine. Okay, let's go grab some food instead. Because we're pretty starving. Mercutio's just sitting there waiting, like, feed me. Uh, dessert plate. Plate plate. Oh, that was all the stuff she made before she passed away. Isabella. <gasps> Isabella. Uh, yeah, we're pretty hungry, too, so we're going to come grab a plate, too, of spaghetti. And Mercutio's pretty hungry, so he'll grab a plate of spaghetti as well. And then I think we need to say goodbye to everyone. Before 
Um, her father comes home, so that's not your bed. Um, okay, so they should all be leaving, and he should hopefully not see anything. And he just got promoted. He's all the way down at the bottom. Oh, he brought home this chick that he's interested in. Yeah. Huh. Let's, um... <laughs> Let's see, uh, how this seems to go. Oh my goodness. Ew. I'm sorry. <laughs> I shouldn't say ew. I should be like, I don't know, saying uh, something else. But we seem to have a crush on her. Antonio's just kind of like flirting with all the women. And I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But Mercutio is going to have to... Uh, head up to bed actually. So he's gonna go ahead and use the toilet. Benedict, that is not your bed, honey. That's not your bed. You're gonna come use the toilet and then go to sleep. And Beatrice is going to go to sleep as well. Uh, so a long, uh, kind of dramatic day. Uh, and I thought I thought the phone was ringing. Is the phone not ringing? No, it is. Ah! He's gonna come answer. No, she's not available. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and put them all to bed. This chick can just go away, Marissa. Uh, so I'll see you guys in the morning. <laughs> And good morning, everyone. So Antonio made pancakes for breakfast for everyone this morning. Uh, our butler's here just kind of chilling. Antonio woke up with the swan to turn Marissa into a werewolf, which is so, like, mad scientist-y. Odd. Okay, do you want to, uh... Are we in your way? I just I want to know if we're in your way. We were in his way. <laughs> uh, but they all have to leave for school and or work. So off, off you go, Benedict. You can't be, you can't be late. I kind of feel like he's gonna ask her her skills. He's gonna ask her her sign. Oh God, he's late. Walk to school, buddy. And he's at work. Okay, there we go. Um, he's gonna ask. Uh, what her job is. She's a Pisces. How much money do you have? What turns you on? Oh, she's a restaurateur. She has decent money. Let's caress her. What do you want? Oh, rejected. Gain a skill point. Oh, bye. Oh, okay. Bye. Uh, okay. So, Antonio, I don't know, he wants to learn fire prevention or, uh, physiology. I think physiology would be interesting because that a, like, he could be learning about, like, food poisoning or the effects of food on the body. Something odd like that. Um, that I feel he would really be able to use. Uh, and the kids are home already. Like, Jesus. Who do you bring home? Who'd you bring home? Gavin Newsom. Oh, another Newsom person. Lord Jesus. Where'd you put your homework, buddy? Do your homework. There you go. So these two are, are settling in fairly well. Beatrice is still very uneasy. I mean, her father did see... Um, Hal Cap over, and she's kind of petrified that because he, he hasn't yelled at her about it or anything, but she kind of feels the the tension, the disappointment um, from him, and she really is feeling kind of scared because she's just like she's like I remember um, Albany Cap being at our place one night um, around the time he went missing, and Benedict's like uh, no 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 that that can't be that cannot be. But it's kind of true. Oh my god, you can leave. Just get out of here. 
No one likes you. <laughs> no one likes you, but Mercurio's home doing well. He's just sniffing the cactus plants, which is odd. I don't understand why they do that. They're like, oh, these are lovely flowers. They aren't flowers. Those are cactuses. Cactuses. Um, I feel like they should have a uh, garden. I feel like they should have a garden because they live on a ranch and it's springtime so when else is the perfect time to plant some plots of uh of stuff and get some uh some trees so one of each we have a apple tree a lemon tree and an orange tree and I think we need to uh, fertilize many. I've learned all sorts of stuff about my body that should help me become a healthier Sam. I doubt it. Everyone's like, oh my god, these suck. So yeah, he's just going to work on uh, those. And it is getting, uh, starting to get late. The sun just decided to like go behind some clouds or something. Um, And yeah, Beatrice wants to go on a date. She wants to see how it's springtime. She's feeling all types of flirty. And um, Benedict's like, I just want to play. I just want to play chess. Oh my god, this lamp is in the way. Um, but we're gonna go ahead. Oh my goodness, and start uh, wrapping up this part. And the ending, we're gonna say goodbye to everyone. Um, I want to know what you guys think. Antonio will do. Do you think he'll get better, or do you think he's going to continue to? Um, drag on this uh, feud between the Cap family um, and ha what do you think is going to happen to him um, as uh, time goes on and you know evidence and clues maybe start pointing towards him and Albany's disappearance um, how do you think Mercutio and Miranda are going to be? Mercutio will be leaving this house shortly he's uh, really not going to stay here he wants to go out on his own uh, but how do you think him and Miranda are going to fare? And what do you think uh, Beatrice and Benedict are going to do? One, about their father, and two, about their own love lives. Uh, so I love you guys so very much. If you're enjoying this series, please do give it a fat thumbs up and subscribe for more videos as I put them out fairly regularly. Uh, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.